Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I'm doing an unboxing of uh, this product. Um, I will also show you the installation of this product uh, in the toilet. Uh, this is a. Uh, let's see what I got in the box. I'm gonna do unboxing. Yes. Here we go. You see this? Uh, this is non-electric, uh, um, eco-friendly, easy to install. It's very easy to install. Uh, no batteries or no electricity uh, required. Definitely, there's no there's no hot water for this video, but cold water is good. Uh, and no special tools required. Um, so let's see what we have inside. Tip not on the box. And we got beer, as you can see. The water presser, how much pressure you're gonna put, and the nozzle, the angle. You can see the angle from here. It's not fancy. It's a traditional kind. It's uh, simple enough, uh, and they give you some accessories here to install the tube and the all the extensions and everything for the tube uh, let's see I'm gonna show you the installation part all right uh, you can see this uh, the front part uh, water pressure and the back area there's a screw where you need to unscrew that because we need to um, insert the tube uh, inside that screw um, to just to make it tighten um, so that water will not leak from there all right let's put it there let's just put it gently uh, make sure it's tightly in inserted in there All right, as you can see it right here, uh, it's totally um, inserted in there and in, the, in the tube. Now you gotta need to tight with that screw so that the water will not leak out. All right, don't use any tools, just use your hands to tight it. As you can see the instructions right here, uh, we gotta need to insert the the washer inside the adapter uh, there's a two lock knot where you're gonna tighten with your uh, the hose pipe and the flexible pipe is not included because it's already on your flush tank so you don't need that you can use your own uh, the, the flexible pipe and uh, the slider this is how it looks like Here you can see all the pictures All right, and now we're gonna show you the actual installation on the toilet, okay? All right, uh, first we need to uh, remove the seat. To remove the seat, we gotta uh, take out that screw thing uh, from the bottom. Uh, there's a bottom nut uh, of the that bolt. It's a plastic screw, I guess, right? Yeah, it's a plastic screw. Um, there's a bolt underneath that you need to unscrew that. I'm taking those out. So you gotta take those out to remove the seat. Uh, after removing the seat, uh, then we can place it on top of, like underneath the seat. So after we put bit, we will put this cover again, or the seat cover. Here we go, let me show you. I know the video is a little bit, I don't have a space right here to show you all the things right here, but there's a bolt underneath the uh, toilet to take the seat out. All right, uh, this part, okay, we're gonna take out the seat now. Now the seat has been removed. Uh, and uh, I will show you how the bidet goes in there uh, before. And they also have the uh, the two black washer that you're gonna put on the uh, on that screw thing on the seat, and this is the uh, bit. This is how it goes in here. 
and you have a slider to make sure that it's on the right place the screw goes in the right place okay now gently slightly uh, take that on the right spot that's the washer goes all right let me do it that hold on right, make sure it's in the right spot yep there we go nice and tight now we're gonna have to um, screw that from the bottom make sure you do the tight tight properly don't use any tools just use your hands you don't need any tools to tight your screw since it's a plastic uh, screws um, you don't want to use any tools it will break so just use your hand tight enough uh, with your hand that should be enough All right look at that this is how it looks like you can move your nozzle all right just trying to see if it's properly tightened enough underneath you can see here uh, the angle of the nozzle you want to make you want to make sure you get that water on your right spot so that's the uh, the angle you're gonna move up and down to make your nozzle in a better place okay uh, I'm going to tighten it properly so that it is stay in place All right, make sure that your seat is not moving uh, you tight that enough and gotta close that with the cover boom see it's simple enough now the next step is to turn off that water uh, from your and flush out everything after you turn that off flush out all the water uh, make sure your tank is cleaned no water inside all right, this is your adapter uh, that you gotta have to uh, unscrew that the flex pipe you're gonna have to unscrew that flex pipe and and insert that adapter underneath the 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 flush tank all right this is how the setup looks like the your adapter goes right there and yeah and this this is your uh the screw for the the bit uh the bitter pipe and the underneath it could this is the flex pipe uh, the flexible pipe goes up from off your sink the water connection and this is the adapter it comes with the bit and here we're gonna insert that other pipe over here all right let's do that all right make sure you take this part out from the uh, the adapter and we're gonna have to insert this pipe inside that adapter inside that uh, screw thing uh, and we're gonna have to insert that yeah just insert over there and yeah, make sure it's secure and uh, tight enough all right uh make sure that it's tight enough right there you can see it uh, this pipe or hose need to be tight enough and then we're gonna have to take this screw down here and screw this tightly just use your hand don't use any tools uh, because it will break mm. so tight that enough Yep. All right, tight and secure. I, I guess this is uh, pretty simple. Now uh, we're gonna have to turn on the the water, and then 
we're gonna fill the tank and make sure make sure you check uh, there's no leakage uh, otherwise you might have to open that uh, shut your water off again and uh, try to put everything securely all right uh, now this is the uh, see you can make the nozzle uh, up and down the whatever angle you want to use it and this is the water pressure I can't open uh, the full because the water will come all over my face so I don't want to do that so I'm gonna put that in a different angle if I turn a little bit down you can see that see all the water right by me but this is how the the nozzle will come down and all the water will come through it see you can make an angle and you can use that water I don't want to put a pressure on it see that see that I don't want to do that all right let's let's do that now see that check it out the more pressure you want to put you just turn your knob more down and all the pressure will comes up and this is the angle make sure you are putting that water on the right spot all right all right thank you for watching this video guys hope you like the video make sure you share subscribe and like my channel bye bye